Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you my curated SLG or small leather goods collection from my most used to the least used SLG. I don't have a big collection of SLGs. Um, I made a personal choice to buy and keep only those pieces that are most useful for me and those that I absolutely cannot live without. I don't think I'm done collecting SLGs though. They're very useful and they keep my essentials organized. It's a nice system to have in terms of when rotating my bags, I just simply get the SLGs out and place them in another handbag. Therefore, my small essentials are not all scattered in my bag and I don't have to dig through a bunch of things because that really drives me crazy. I do have a few more SLGs in my wish list. One that I can think of is a standalone coin purse. Not sure which one I'm getting yet, but I have a few choices in mind. Maybe that'll be an unboxing video in the future. Yeah, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you my most used SLG. And that is the Saint Laurent zipped card case in the color Rouge Opium. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've had this for about a year now. It's still in a really great condition for the most part. I do see a few scuff marks, but just barely. As far as the wear, it's very minor. You do have to be really looking for it to, to even notice them. And this replaced a few of my SLGs in the least used category, which I'll be talking about a little later. And this also replaced my favorite of all compact wallets, but no longer the most used, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So what I love about this card case, it is, it's really compact, unlike the other card holders that I have. Um, and this keeps fairly flat, even uh, with stuff inside, like cards and coins. Um, it's just a perfect everyday card holder. This one doesn't have many card slots. It literally only has... What is... This one doesn't really have many card slots. It literally only has a handful, but this is all I really need to have on a daily basis. Um, I have a debit card, two credit cards or store cards, um, my car key, and my driver's license. Also, I don't um, carry a lot of cash, and I hate carrying coins, but I can't get rid of them since all I really need and all I really want to carry are a few coins, then at least I have a place to put them in, and they're not just, you know, thrown around inside my bag, which is starting to happen more and more. Um, these coins just won't stop multiplying. That's why I was thinking maybe I do need to invest in a coin purse. My number two most used SLG in my collection is the Louis Vuitton Mini Pochette in a Daumier Bean Canvas. I don't really need to say a whole lot about the Mini Pochette. I mean, what can I say? You know what? Actually, I do have a lot to say. <laughs> if you don't already have this, you need this in your life. I use it mostly on the weekends, nights, or anytime I'm traveling because I tend to wear my bigger, smaller bags, which it will fit right into. I just have one of these in this Daumier bean pattern. I personally don't um, feel like I need it in different patterns or colors. I also have a curated collection of handbags, so at least at this time, I don't have to have more than one of these. I am a monogram girl. I love the LV monogram pattern, but I ended up purchasing this in the Daumier bean because most of my Louis Vuitton bags, even the ones that I've sold, um, except maybe one or two, have all been in the monogram print. So having the SLGs in a different pattern gives me that sort of break with the monogram style. So it's not super overkill with having the same print in my collection. And I love the red interior lining on this one. Um, I feel like it makes it easy to see what's inside. Um, not that you need to, it's not a big dark hole like um, the Speedies, um, but it does look nice to see a little pop of color inside. I've had this for a little over a year now. It's still in an excellent condition and I don't see any signs of wear. Um, as you may already know, this particular mini pochette by Louis Vuitton is super popular. I could have purchased this a long time ago, could have probably been one of the first few LV pieces in my collection. You're starting out with your collection. This is really a, a great first LV piece to have, but I didn't want to get it just to get it because everyone had it. When I bought it, I felt like it was really the right time. And I'm glad that I pulled the trigger and bought it because it is now one of my most used SLGs in my small collection. 
If you want to take a look at another video that I made, it's a what's in my bag video on my YSL Lulu. I did feature this little beauty a lot, and if you want to see what essential items I tend to have in it, I'll pop a link to that video up here, and I'll also link it for you in my description below. Number three uh, most used SLG in my collection is the Louis Vuitton cosmetic or makeup pouch in the Damier Bean canvas. This is the smaller size of the two size options. The only designer makeup pouch that I have. Currently, I definitely only need one. I don't carry a whole lot of makeup with me when traveling. Um, I really try to bring just the bare minimum as much as I can. So this size I find is a good size for my lifestyle. For longer trips, I have other non-designer makeup bags or organizers that I use that I can get really dirty so I don't have to worry about wearing this one out too soon. However, according to Louis Vuitton's website, the interior lining of this is washable. But you know, that's all it really says. It's very vague and they really leave it up leave it up to our imaginations. So with that said, I wouldn't get too excited and throw it in the wash or dip the entire thing in a bucket of water. I would maybe just take a damp, non-abrasive cloth and lightly wipe inside. So my fourth most used um, SLG in my small collection is my um, Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch in the size 19. Um, this is the medium size. <clears throat> something in my eye. So this is the medium size of LV's toiletry pouches, which I believe all have been discontinued. Yes, all three sizes um, of the toiletry pouches have been discontinued. They've now been replaced with these toiletry-ish pouches, one with a chain so you can wear it as a shoulder bag, and they all now have, a, uh, have card slots inside. I guess this is because a lot of people were sort of rigging the old toiletry pouches, adding really cute non Louis Vuitton straps to it. If you like that look or into wearing the toiletry pouch that way, I'm not mad at it, but personally, it's not for me. Um, I'm one of those people who will use a certain product for what it's actually made or used for. So I had originally bought the smallest pouch of these, um, I think it's size 15, and I didn't it just didn't work out for me. It was way too small for what I wanted to use it for, which is actually for toiletry things. So I found this to be a good size, but I stopped here. I, you know, I was happy with the size after I bought it and didn't feel the need to go up a size. I use this mainly for obvious or not so obvious reasons uh, when I'm traveling, mainly during those longer trips, even weekends. This and my cosmetic pouch fit perfectly in my Speedy 25, which is my personal definition of a bigger small handbag. Honestly, the Speedy 25 has become a travel bag for me. That goes to show how much of a small handbag kind of girl I am. I really like my small um, crossbody or shoulder bags, even small backpacks. One of my least used SLGs in my collection. It is the Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet in the black monogram emprunt leather. Honestly, I love this wallet. Um, I just love small, tiny things, and this is an epitome of a micro wallet to me. Um, it has all of the features that you'll find in a normal size wallet, but for some reason, it's like the smallest thing in the world. <laughs> it's kind of like a scene in the Harry Potter movie. Beat off the table! Beat off the table! I love magic. This wallet reminds me exactly of that. Um, remember I told you guys earlier that my YSL card case replaced my most favorite wallet? Yep, so this is that wallet. It still is very much my favorite wallet based on the fact that it has all the features of a regular size wallet, only micro in size. Um, I just don't use it every day anymore. This wallet has five card slots inside, um, one big open pocket for cash um, or bills, a zipped coin pocket, and a flat pocket in the back where I would keep my most used card for easy access. 
So do you guys know what I mean? Um, this thing is really something. The reason why I don't use it as much is ju it's just not flat enough for me um, to go inside my most used everyday small crossbody bag. Um, and for those weekends or day trips, I really just get lazy um, changing it out since my YSL card case can carry all that I need and I find it difficult to get all the cards um, out of the slots, TBH. And the leather just hasn't softened enough yet which, you know, I, I think why it's just so hard to pull out the cards. I sort of forget about this one for now because I'm just really lazy, but I'm still very much in love with it. I know that sounds really mean, but the good news is that I don't think I'll ever get rid of this anytime soon. Um, this is the only compact wallet of this kind that I have. The six uh, SLG in my collection is the Louis Vuitton Clements wallet in the monogram canvas. This was a limited edition Clements wallet. I'm not sure exactly if the interior of this one is a fuchsia color. This is currently available on the Louis Vuitton's website, at least in the US, and it comes in a fuchsia color. Um, and that fuchsia looks more like a deeper, hotter pink, I guess, whereas my limited edition wallet looks Still hot pink, um, but more of a subtle hot pink, if that makes any sense. Um, but I think it's just a stunning color. I, I actually prefer this shade of hot pink. This replaced my Zippy wallet, which I thought was a little too bulky for me. I've downsized my bag collection um, and sold many of my bigger tote bags. So after I've downsized and gotten rid of my bigger bags, I stopped using the Zippy since it didn't really fit in many of my smaller-ish bags. And if it did fit, it was taking up a lot of space. So after plenty of research, it came down to this wallet. It still has that Zippy wallet vibe, but you know, just a smaller version. And this is the only wallet that I own that's considered a long wallet. And even though it's not an everyday wallet for me, I don't think I can part with this anytime soon. Like I said, it's the only long wallet that I have in my collection and I am very much in love with the style and functionality and overall appearance of this wallet. Um, it has more than enough credit card slots. It has a pretty good size zip coin pocket and these divided compartments. Um, obviously based on my lifestyle, I don't use it every day and I, I don't need to care. I don't think I need to carry that many cards, but for longer trips, maybe, you know, two to three week vacations or business trips, this wallet has been very useful in those situations. Number seven on my list of SLGs is the Louis Vuitton key pouch in the monogram canvas. This is also a rebound SLG for me. It replaced one of my very first SLGs in my collection, the Louis Vuitton Multi Clay, which I've sold on Fashion File. And here's a screenshot of the exact piece that I sold to them back in 2017. I stopped carrying keys um, at that point, so there was really no need for me to have this key wallet. However, the idea of the LV key pouch is great and I used it a lot in the beginning, mainly because it was new in my collection, but I found that it didn't I didn't really have a real need for it. At the same time, I don't think I can let this one go anytime soon. I do consider this a classic uh, Louis Vuitton SLG and I really do love having it in my collection. Okay, number eight in my collection is the Chanel card holder and the caviar leather. Um, unfortunately, this is an almost never used SLG in my collection and it's completely forgotten since many of my other SLGs are more functional um, than this one. I definitely used this a lot before I got my YSL card holder and it was a situation where I'd constantly had to keep switching wallets. I do love the gusseted style but for me, I realized that this is more of a total appreciation for the brand, the concept, look, style, creativity of this card holder. I'm more of a practical person and I love organization, which this doesn't really have. So in that sense, it makes this not so much of a win for me. But I do love having this in my collection, the same reason that I'm keeping the Louis Vuitton keep out. I do consider this a classic style, even though I don't think it's technically in their classic collection since it doesn't have that pocket in the back. 
Um, but it is in that classic black um, and that durable caviar leather, which is very timeless. And I definitely see myself holding on to this one for a while. Number nine in my collection is the Louis Vuitton key pouch. I've had this for five years now. Um, I loved it in the beginning, but I really started finding the keychain annoying. Well, it's made to be hooked on a D-ring, which you'll see in many bigger tote bags. The only other way I can see myself using this is hooked on a D-ring inside a bigger bag or a tote bag, um, which, like I said, I no longer have. You know, I might even think about selling this in the future sometime. This is actually the first time I'm verbalizing it and saying it out loud, but we'll see. Well, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was it. Those are all the SLGs that I have, and... As you can see, it's it's a very small collection, but it's curated to my lifestyle, and each one, for the most part, serve a well-intended purpose uh, for me and for my lifestyle. And I'm, you know, decided to keep the ones that I absolutely cannot live without. Um, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. Um, hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.